Known as America's Main Street, or to some the Mother Road, Route 66, a 2,448 mile road spanning from Chicago, Illinois, to the west coast Santa Monica was established in 1926 due to car ownership tripling nearly threefold during the 1920s from 8 to 23 million vehicles this road was built and described as the shortest best and most scenic route connecting the east to the west and over the years it's been made famous due to its place in inspiring tv series books music and it's covered in art so join us on today's video as we travel a little bit of Route 66 on the way to the Grand Canyon. Smash that like button and let's do some exploring. Legends. What day is it? Tuesday. Someone in the comments of the video yesterday said, since you're in America a lot, um, you need to adopt an American football team. I do, I have been watching it a lot, you know? It's on every TV, everywhere. Monday Night Football last night. Which team do you think I'm going to choose? I think you know already. Team. She's not wrong. If I was going to adopt a team, I would be a Kansas City Chiefs fan. Not because I'm a Swifty. I just really like the vibe of Pat Mahomes. All right, next stop, Arizona. We're flying today for like five, six hours. The longest in, I don't know, I want to, I want to know this fact. We can learn some fact of the day straight away. You can go from here in Boston to Hawaii's Honolulu and it takes nine hours and 45 minutes. That's the longest internal domestic flight in America. Adding up the pub quiz answers. Safety first, off to the dessert. Not to be confused with dessert. One's warm, dry could be pretty barren. Most of the time hot. The other one's delicious. Jasmine, that's a pretty name. It's only six minutes to the airport. Sick. Boston, you've been beautiful. And very cold. Jack was right. It wasn't a real tattoo. You still don't want to get it though. No. The beautiful view of the skyline when you go to the airport. What's your new favourite thing? Uh, Charles Leclerc and his dog. So cute. So cute. My new favourite thing on Instagram. <laughs> You can check in at the curbside here. That's pretty cool. That's not all airports, I've seen it before, but... I did that thing, you know when you turn up and you just say what you see? Ooh, check in at curbside. You know what time it is. That's exciting. It's a good start to the day. Jazz said that she was going to download some stuff for the plane. You got any plans? I was wondering why you were sipping mine. <laughs> uh, look at it settled. It's just like mesmerizing to watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said this to you yesterday. It's because the nitro always looks like cream and it's not. <laughs> Breakfast this morning. Two egg pepper things. And a sausage, bacon. No, sausage, cheddar and egg. The burger. Keeping the protein and fat stores topped up. Chaz says I'm getting older and softer. But like, I was stood in the queue and I was like, look at that festive menu, How I feel that makes me smile. Like when we travel and I'm like, you know, you're just sat in the airport now and like, these people are going to Dallas, Fort Worth and like, we're going over to Phoenix and stuff. But you know, when you look at everyone, you're like, I wonder what they all do. Do you sometimes give people like jobs in their head? Like you can look at someone and be like, he's definitely a banker. Not the W, the B. I think that's the nosy side of being a human being, isn't it? You're like, you want to kind of know. Arizona. Flying in, it was like flying over a load of brown in squares. Pretty 
deserted. So all on the SkyTrain ride, it said the, the America's friendliest airport. And the woman? Yeah, she was really nice. She gave me a fancy new SUV. Jazz just fl flutters her eyelids, gets what she wants. Like she does with me. I try. Go on, flutter them for the team. I don't get what I want. Go on, flutter, you. flutter. Ugh, how can you say no? <laughs> we have a Ferrari in the back. You, so, you were thinking about getting a Mustang, but you, you're... Well, yeah, we're doing like Route 66. Yes, and, we're, like, and we're, we're in the desert. Yeah. But then... And you thought, what happens if it... The practical side of my brain was like, but what if it snows? So I opted for an SUV. We're in the desert. Lexus RX 350. That means nothing to me. The steering wheel comes out like a turtle's head. And I seem to have a shelf where I can store stuff. <laughs> a snack shelf. Like my sweets. Do you want to... Um, leave Look at the size of those exhausts. That looked like a transformer. This is a very American highway. You know, you've got the big signs, the trees, the trucks. Every day, someone unknowingly takes the biggest shit in the world for that day. It's so true because that does actually happen, but you would never know. Crazy that, isn't it? And two, mad to think that one night you logged out of MSN forever. Coming home from school, switching on the computer. Dad, can you turn on dial-up? I want to go on MSN, play RuneScape. Here we go. Caleb Campbell said, enjoy the drive from Phoenix to Las Vegas. Driving through the mountains on the way is amazing and it's like its own little world. 6.8 million people live in Arizona. May sound stupid, but I didn't realize how many cacti there was actually gonna be. They're literally like the trees in anywhere else. You know, that's, if you've never been to a desert, you know when you're driving down the road and you've got trees everywhere? Replace those with cactus. That's exactly what it's like. Out here is like my sense of humour. Dry. Lots of tumbleweed. Lots of tumble... Thanks, babe. <laughs> that was good. You like... A lot of the time, Jazz laughs. Like, she'll laugh at like stuff, but then if it's at me... <laughs> Even more. I feel like I'm driving into Star Wars. After a beautiful trip up through Sedona, where we made a brief stop and took a couple of beautiful photos, we arrived into the city of Williams. Founded in 1881, Williams was actually named after a famous trapper, scout, and mountain man, Old Bill Williams. There's still a statue of him in the sea, and Williams is known as one of the most famous towns on Route 66 for being the gateway to the Grand Canyon, the Grand Canyon Railway that it homes, and for its really classic look. Home to only 3,000 people, it's a little town, but uh, with a lot of character. What is it? I feel like we're on ice road truckers. It's kind of giving off those vibes, isn't it? Also? I told you it would be cold. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Congratulations. Where we've woken up this morning, team, is a place called Williams on Route 66. We came out last night and there was like kind of no one. But, um... It's very... I mean, it's like... It's like a set out of cars. You've got like the front, look at that thing. And this is Jessica's family restaurant. We looked it up last night, the reviews. The last 10 reviews have all been one star. And there's a, there's a Breaking Bad Winnebago out the back. The Anything. we had last night was really nice. Yeah, but we went somewhere else. We didn't go to Jessica's yeah. family restaurant. Greek, Italian, and American cuisine. You're allowed to be multicultural. So it's even got people in it. That's a bit scary. Route 66. Do you reckon they'll bite? It's really cool that. Old looking cars, ah, especially old American looking cars, so good looking. Bring them back, bring that style back. Loads of old boys around. We 
found one. Look, it looks like it's from cars. So cool. Every time you turn a corner and you see one of these things, one of these people in the car, I get freaked out. I'm like, what the fuck is doing it? Like, whoa. We walked past it last night and it's just a bit eerie. What is that little thing? Wild, isn't it? A lot of history. Brewed Awakenings. That's where we're going to this morning. It says cold brew on the side. It's got some decent reviews. I like the pun. It's been a rude awakening, but it's brewed. It's found her sticker. No stupid people will be on this point. I won't be able to get in the kitchen. Running late is my cardio. This is a cool place. Come here, come here, come here. Torn between looking like a snack and eating a snack. Jazz is going to go home with a load of fridge magnets. Breakfast burrito. But um, I just like signs. More espresso, less depresso. This one made me giggle. Marriage, a relationship where one is always right and the other one is, a, is the husband. They got that, I was like, yeah. Not wrong. Akuna Matata means no worries for the rest of your days. I run a tight shipwreck. That's a good one. Like it is, isn't it? Yeah. We're definitely in the simulation. Some guy's just walked in and he's playing on the, like, the grabbing machine. I really wanted to play it before we left. You wanted to play it? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to play grab machine. He's happy. Morning coffee and a play on the grab machine. What more could you want? Man's living the dream. There's the grab machine. He wanted a soft toy with his coffee. He was literally on this. It was very tempting. Now that is cool. That is really cool. Look at it. It looks like a toy. Apparently it's a Ford. An old school Ford. Get that photo. Before we leave today, I'm gonna to give you a very quick tour. That's how I feel after having a large cheese pizza. Not amused. Not amused, <laughs> panicked. <laughs> Must be the old menu, I don't know, maybe. Lovely spacious bathroom, comes with a bath. Never flush the toilet. That was a joke. This is a sink, it's a massive sink. A bedroom, it's where the magic happens. As they say on MTV Cribs, look at this. Oh, look at this. So this place used to be called the coffee pot. And that's what it used to look like when it first, first, first opened. I wish it had the date on it. But that's cool, isn't it? Three. There's a... Get that on This was our Airbnb in Williams. All right. Lovely. Ah, oh, can I show you something? This is British childhood American nostalgia. As a kid, whenever one of your friends used to go to America, you, you used to ask them to bring these back. It was a thing. It's because the Sour Skittles in the UK are exactly the same, but they don't have that coating of sugar on them, which makes them and my mouth water. You'd be like, can you bring me back a pack of Sour Skittles? All right, so the reason why you travel is so you get to experience new things, see the world become more cultured, have something to talk about with your gym friends other than the, the gym. <laughs> and today we're going to tick a box. New thing. Two new things. The Grand Canyon, uh, grand meaning big, canyon meaning giant hole in the ground created by ice or something else. And we're going to go to Las Vegas. Somewhere that honestly I'd never really thought about going because I'm not a gambler or a drinker. But I'm very excited to see. Functional fitness. Sandbag carries. When we went for breakfast this morning, Jazz... We obviously bought food and Jazz then bought a pair of fluffy slippers. Very sparse. There's a dude just about to come past. And he's carrying the shopping for the day. Next to his wife, he's got a cowboy hat on. That's cool. I like that. He's got his shirt on, tucked in, trousers, belt. 
and a pair of Nike tennis shoes. And you got rodeo at 12, but tennis at three. And just like that, it was time to get back onto Route 66 and make our way over to Vegas via the Grand Canyon. A trip that millions of people have made before. Somehow though, we made a little bit of a mistake, but you'll see that. <laughs> Road trip. Where's the volume? Here it comes. I feel It just looks unreal. It's like one of the scenes like off of, you know, like the crudes when they like get out and they're like looking across to where they've got to get to. Or like Ice Age or something like that. It's so vast. I didn't expect it to be so vast, but it's so cool to see. Like, I can see to the end of the world. You can understand why people thought the world was flat, can't you? <laughs> You can when you're somewhere like this. We're on this really long straight road, like unbelievably long and straight. And Jazz's thought was... Be the most demoralising road to run on. A real life tumbleweed. It's an actual tumbleweed. Wow. And it's massive. So look. Look at this. Take a look at this. Look at, it Somebody, look at, look at that thing. Look That's it. Tumbling it. away. Wow. Wow. Yep. We've seen a real life tumbleweed. Only ever experienced the feeling after a joke of a tumbleweed. Now I've seen one. I'm going to go into this wallape and pee. Congratulations to us. We've literally made it to the middle of nowhere. This is, we were like, are we sure we're supposed to go down here? And uh, we're still not sure if we, we were. All right, if you head towards the Grand Canyon from the kind of non-touristy way and take a bit of a wrong turn, like we did, you'll end up on this road, which the sign says, rough road for 10 miles. These two cars were literally the only two cars we saw for 32 miles. The road was 32 miles long and it looked like this the whole way. Little bit freaky. You know, if you broke down halfway, you're a long way from anyone. It was actually a really cool experience to like, just be in the middle of like, what is happening road, you know? Uh, Jazz celebrated at the end with a photo. She white knuckled pretty much the whole way. She was like, what happens if we get a puncture? I was like, I don't know. We've got a long walk ahead, but luckily we made it and we found ourselves at the Grand Canyon. That's deep. Look at that. We walked on that thing over there. Uh, you're not allowed to do any like filming or taking photos or even your phone on there. Uh, I sweated so much. Yeah, this is high. Really, really high. And there's no barrier on this one, which is slightly petrifying. Natural selection. Crazy. Look at that thing. I don't know, it just doesn't even look real. Looking through the screen, it looks a lot bigger in real life. You're making a joke there. No, it does. Like how? Whoa. Let me tell you how. Scientists say that the Grand Canyon was created by a process called tectonic uplift, which creates plateaus and mountains. And then rivers and glaciers cut through these elevated areas of land to create the deep canyons that we see. A couple of things about this vast landscape that you may not know. It covers 1,904 square miles. That's bigger than the entire state of Rhode Island. And in some places, it's over a mile deep. The most dangerous animal in that canyon is actually known as the rock squirrel. Visitors are often bitten by this humble squirrel. And no one is actually completely sure of the age of the Grand Canyon. But recent studies have shown that the process may have started actually around 70 million years ago. But it's also home to a huge mystery because there's a phenomenon where there are 250 million year old rocks that lie directly on 1.2 billion year old rocks. And no one knows actually what happened in the hundreds of millions of years that have missing from the layers. It's just incredible. It's, uh, it's something I've never seen or experienced or you really have to be there to understand the vastness of this, this spot. Whoa, I feel like I'm on top of the world. This is hot. That's the Colorado River. 
it's massive. Kind of lost for words. I've recently on these daily videos, I've been very good at just mumbling along as Jazz keeps telling me. You mumble to yourself a lot now and I do. I don't know what to say. It looks, no, no, this is what, it feels like I'm in a live picture. It doesn't feel real, like I feel like I'm just, where's the simulation start and end? Oh, my legs are a little bit shaky. Big, big drop, have a look. Yeah, no thanks. Do you hear that? Nothing. It is dead silent. It's like whether anyone's here. It's so weird, so still. It's just... It's, n it's so silent, isn't it? Eerie. You can almost hear like the tinnitus like ringing a little bit because it's so quiet. It's an experience, 100%. Won't forget this. Worth the drive in the near death sand road. Mm. Yeah, that was also an experience. Not quite like this one, not quite as peaceful. <laughs> but we made it. Now we've been there, That was def that's definitely a must do. 100%. One of the best top 10 things to experience I've ever experienced. Mm. Next stop, complete contrast to this peace and quiet, serenity, in the middle of nowhere vibe. Oh yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't really be going from one extreme to the next. More. The bright lights of Las Vegas. All right, this was pretty wild. From about, I would say, 60 miles out, you could see where Las Vegas was behind the mountains. The light pollution. It was pitch black everywhere else, but the sky was just illuminated. I feel like if you got lost out there in the desert, you'd definitely find your way to Las Vegas. And Las Vegas, we did. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash that like button, and we'll catch you in the next ones, you bunch of legends. Thanks for coming on this tour with us today.